get ready to embark on an unforgettable journey where mysteries unravel and the unexpected becomes the norm. Tonight, I bring you The Witch and the Seven Sons, a story that will captivate your imagination and keep you on the edge of your seat. It's a tale filled with secrets, twists, and a world you've never experienced before. Brace yourself for an adventure that will leave you eagerly hanging on to every word. Are you ready? Let's dive into The Witch and the Seven Sons. This is a story that will ignite your curiosity and keep you guessing at every turn. Once upon a time, there was a man who had seven children. One day, he wanted to travel far, but he was afraid if he leaves his children alone, they would be eaten by the evil witch, so he decided to take them on his trip. After days of travel, the first son spoke and said, Father, I'm tired, the father replied. And what should I do for you, my son? He said, Build me a house of cane with a door of cane and give me a large piece of breed and a bucket of waiter and go on your way. And after days of travel, the second son spoke and said, Father, I am tired. The father replied, And what should I do for you, my son? He said, Build me a house of wood with a door of wood and give me a large piece of bread and a bucket of water and go on your way. And after days of travel, the third son spoke and said, Father, I'm tired. The father replied, And what should I do for you, my son? He said, Build me a house of straw with a door of straw and give me a large piece of bread and a bucket of water and go on your way. And after days of travel, the fourth son spoke and said, Father, I'm tired. The father replied, And what should I do for you, my son? He said, Build me a house of leather with a door of leather and give me a large piece of bread and a bucket of water and go on your way. And after days of travel, the fifth son spoke and said, Father, I'm tired. The father replied, And what should I do for you, my son? He said, Build me a house of clay with a door of clay and give me a large piece of bread and a bucket of water and go on your way. And after days of travel, the sick son spoke and said, Father, I'm tired. The father replied, And what should I do for you, my son? He said, Build me a house of glass with a door of glass and give me a large piece of bread and a bucket of water and go on your way. And after days of travel, the seventh son spoke, and his name is Hadadan, which means wretched and intelligent. Father, I'm tired, the father replied, and what should I do for you, my son? Hadidan said, Build me a house of iron with a door of iron and give me a large piece of bread and a bucket of water and go on your way. The father finished what his sons asked him and continued on his way alone. The witch knew that the father lifted his seven son each one on a different house alone. So she decided to start searching them. And while searching, she found the first son. She destroyed the house of Cain and ate the son. She went to the next son and destroyed his wooden house and ate him. Then she went to the third son and smashed the straw house and ate him. She did the same thing to the fourth son and smashed the leather house and ate him, then to the fifth son and broke the mud house and ate him. She went to the sixth son and smashed the glass house and ate him. Finally, she reached the Hadidan house, which was built of iron. She was unable to destroy it. She kept trying to break the door until she felt exhausted and tired. The evil witch came every day and waited for Hadidan to go out searching food so she can catch him. However, Hadidan was very intelligent. He did not go out until she's asleep. 
when Hadidan sees the witch asleep, he goes out to the well and fills his bucket with water, and then sour the well. Then he goes to the fig tree and picked whatever is good. On his way back, he stole the witch's broom and returned to his iron house. At home, he started eating the good figs while throwing the evil witch with the rotten ones. She woke up and found the rotten figs beside her. When she started eating the figs, she realized that the figs are rotten. She rushes to drink water from the well, but she also found it rotten. She turns towards the Hadidan house. She finds him laughing hard at her. The evil witch became very angry and began to think of a plan to catch him. She went to the woods, gathered a lot of gum, and put it on her broom because she knew that he was going to stole it to fly back to his house. After that, she slept. Hadidan saw that the evil witch was asleep, so he went out to do the same thing as he had done before, but he did not pay attention to the evil plan of the witch. He rode on the broom, and the gum that the witch had placed on the witch broom was attached to it. The evil witch woke up to find Hadidan stuck in her trap, so she grabbed him and went to her house to cook and eat him with her daughter. On their way to the witch house, Hadidin kept thinking of a plan to get rid of this problem. They arrived at the house, and the wicked witch caught the poor son to slay him and cook him. But Ah Hadidin spoke and said, Wait, you see, witch, I'm very weak, and my flesh for you and your daughter will not satisfy you. The witch answered, It's true, but I'm going to eat you anyway. But Hadidan said, Prison me and feed me well until I become portliness. Only then you can enjoy eating me. The witch liked his idea, so she kept him and continued feeding him well until he became portliness, large and meaty. One week later, the witch decided it is time to eat Hadidan. Our hero admitted that he got really big, and he's got a lot of meat. But he had a clever proposition for the witch. Hadidan proposed, let your daughter cook me and go invite your friends to share the food. The witch liked the idea. The witch went and let her daughter do the work. The stupid witch's daughter got ready to do the work. So she heard the voice of Hadidan calling her, Oh, beautiful, oh, beautiful, she answered and said, I am not beautiful, and my mother and all of my family call me ugly. He answered and said, You are very beautiful, but you do not care about yourself, so they can see your beauty, which you really are. She said, What should I do? Hadidan said, Let me take care of you by cutting your hair. The witch's daughter fell into the trap and presented her head to Hadidan to cut her hair. Hadidan grabbed the knife and killed her, put on her skin and clothes, and cooked her meat for dinner. The witch and her relatives came home. Hadidan offered them their daughter as dinner, and they ate until they were full. When they finished, Hadidan started to laugh. The witch said, What's wrong with you, daughter? Hadidan took off the skin and the clothes and said, How was dinner? Was it delicious? How do you feel now after eating your daughter's meat? This is revenge for eating my six brothers. He left them shocked and fled to his iron house. In his way, Hadidan had one idea in head, revenging the death of his brothers by killing the witch and her friends. With the same way, the idea consists on burning all of them in the iron house, who had been built by his father. Hadidan knew that the witch and her friends will follow him to his place, so he pretended to be inside the house so they can get into his trap and enter the house once they did. Hadidan closed the door and started a huge fire all around the house. 
In a while, the iron got hot and made them all cooked slowly until they died. That way, Hadidan saved himself and took revenge for all his brothers. And Hadidan live in peace for the rest of his life. This content is without ads to avoid inconvenience. To support us on PayPal, the link is in the description.